Hey girls and guys, welcome back. This is task 8, Understanding MySQL. MySQL is a relational database management system based on structured query language, SQL. Let's break this down slightly for ease of understanding. A database, a database is simply a persistent organized collection of structured data, relational database management system, a software or service used to create and manage databases based on a relational model. The data stored in the data set is organized as tables. SQL, structured query language. How does MySQL work? MySQL creates a database for storing and manipulating data. Clients make requests by making specific statements in SQL. The server will respond to the client with whatever information has been requested. What runs MySQL? MySQL can run on various platforms, whether it's Linux or Windows. Make good notes. Read through all the information and links provided. One of my personal favorites is W3Schools. Check it out. Task 9. Enumerating MySQL. Typically, you will have gained some initial credentials from enumerating other services that you can then use to enumerate and exploit the MySQL service. Once again, we are given credentials, root and password requirements. You will want to have MySQL installed on your system. If not, you can install it using the given command highlighted sudo apt install default mysql client again we're going to be using metasploit to help us out make sure your other machine from smtp has been terminated so that you can start this machine as well as make sure that your attack box has been started if you're using a attack box let's begin as with all the previous tasks, we're going to start off by running another Nmap scan using the switch capital A hyphen small p hyphen. In my terminal, I'm typing Nmap hyphen capital A hyphen small p hyphen. My speed T4 with my verbosity double V. My IP address, I'm saving my output to normal with the file name of my choosing. The Nmap scan results are ready to take a look at. We can see there are two ports open. Port 22 open SSH and port 3306 mysql next we need to download mysql because it's not installed for us let's copy this command given to us and go and paste it into our terminal i'm demonstrating how to use the clipboard for copy and pasting especially if you're having issues with copy and paste not working this is a way how to do it let that run once MySQL completes let's go ahead and try to log in to MySQL as root with that given password that we have in the notes I'm entering the password which is password I'm now logged in the MySQL prompt in a new separate terminal I'm gonna start Metasploit type msf console to start Metasploit wait for it to load Let's go ahead and search for mysql underscore sql. There's one found. 
and as before type use zero in order to use this module show options by typing options we need to set our hosts and the password and the username as with previous tasks go ahead and set your R hosts to your target IP or the machine's IP in mine it's 253.253 I'm going to set the password to password and I'm going to set the username to root I'm going to show options to see that it's completed correctly and type in run to run it now we're going to set SQL to show databases type set SQL show databases options and it's set type run and there you can see you have now four databases returned I'm going to back out of this module I'm going to search again this time I'm searching for mysql underscore schema dump there's one only that comes up let's use it type in used zero options again you can see we need to set the password the R hosts so just like before I'm hitting my up arrow key to return to the previous commands and I'm going to set my R hosts set the username set the password options to see that they are correctly set and now type run once again let's back out of this module we're going to search for mysql underscore hash dump now we've got two options that pop up the one we want to use is the second one so I'm going to use one or number one the options to see what I need to set and just as our previous one or previous module you need to set the password the R host and the username so I'm using my up arrow key again just to go back through to those commands and set the password to password set my username to root and I'm going to set my R hosts to the IP address type options to check that it's set correctly and type run and there's some hashes returned to us the bottom one call I'm going to copy and paste this one so I'm copying it I'm going to open up another terminal I'm going to paste this hash into its own file using nano calling it hash.txt and then I'm going to paste it in hit control X press yes to save it and hit enter now you can go ahead and type John space hash.txt and you should be given the same output as I have on the screen showing call and his password doggy let's try login into SSH remember Nmap told us that the SSH port was open so I'm going to SSH call at my IP address type yes the password is doggy and you can see we are logged in as call if I ls there's a text file mysql.txt I'm going to cat this out and there is your flag congratulations you got the mysql flag if you followed along you should be able to complete all the answers now in tasks 9 and 10 see you in future videos